What's going on guys? My name is Tefty Teft. Welcome to another Zer's Day video. It is August 19th and Zer is in the reef as you can see. He is chilling right here per usual where the usual reef location is. And it's a pretty good week. Not gonna lie, it's not too shabby at all. Let's kick things off right away. Helm of Saint-14 for the Titan. It is the exotic that will blind enemies in Ward of Dawn. Very useful for PvE and can be fun in PvP as well when holding down that B slot as a defender. Maybe fun police titan. I mean, obviously you're not using no backup plans if you're using Helm of Saint-14, but still it's a nice option to use. Uh, Starless Knight, your Ward of Dawn blinds enemies who enter it. Yes, it is very blinding. It's pretty much like a white screen if you uh, enter an enemy's Ward of Dawn bubble with Helm of Saint-14. Comes with increased intellect, discipline, ashes to assets, thoughts, uh, second thoughts, and infusion for that particular role. Next, Bones of Ao. Bones of Meow, the Air Nike Bones for the Hunter, gives you an additional jump. So you can have uh, you can have quad jump if you do triple, or you can have a triple jump on those uh, extra control jumps. Very much a preferred exotic for hunters right now. The movement speed that's granted with, say, Mind of Multi-Tool is incredible, especially if you're a shotgun runner. Uh, comes with increased intellect, increased discipline, uh, fusion rifle ammo, rocket launcher ammo, arc double down. This is fusion rifle ammo, unless you are um, unless you love fusion rifles. Probably going to want to re-roll this baby. But it's Bones video, guys. If you do not have it, you probably do if you've been playing the game for a while. But if, the, if you did not have it yet, or maybe you create another account for some reason or switch systems, Bones of AO is available. Definitely pick that up. And then Void Thing Vestments for the Warlock, Hungering Void. Spawn with full grenade energy, and your Axion Bolt grenade spawns an additional seeker. Very useful for you wardlock, uh, wardlockers. <laughs> Very useful for you uh, uh, void walkers out there. Uh, also being able to spawn with full grenade energy with this exotic. Very nice. Comes with increased intellect, increased discipline, pulse rifle ammo, fusion rifle ammo, solar burn, defense, and void armor. Um, I believe it always comes with Void Armor because obviously the grapes, it gives you an additional grape for those Axiom Bolts. Uh, it's a good exotic as well. Um, you know, I'm not really the one to offer good advice for Warlocks, so I'm going to just move along. Finally, Invective, the shotgun that regenerates ammo. Invective, this weapon regenerates ammo over time. It's relatively slow and it's only one bullet per shot. It's also full auto. Uh, inherently full auto and then has final round so it's got four shots boom 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 and it's it's kind of cheese city sometimes when you use the invective because it's good because it's really good you get your ammo back it's full auto has final round you know stat wise you're thinking impact range is kind of all right but the rate of fire is very fast so the two tap ability on this is great you can take out people in supers uh, with like a full magazine really easily with the invective if you're prepared and have the opportunity to do it so it's a good week i would say honestly all things considered in terms of what xur sells typically these are all worthwhile exotics absolutely worthwhile exotics things that you should own if you have not already owned these uh, exotics in destiny yet the legacy engram is a helmet if you are missing things from year one or let's say you uh you don't have a celestial nighthawk you could get a celestial nighthawk out of here and then have to repurchase it from the um, the exotic blueprint for legendary marks. So maybe that's an uh, avenue to some of those helmets if you're missing them. That's a possibility. Uh, but it is a legacy engram and it's expensive. 29 strange coins compared to 13 and 17. Kind of a rip off, sir. Just going to be straight up. <laughs> Once again, glass needles if you want to re roll these exotic armor pieces. If you don't like, let's say, you know, this rocket launcher, fusion rifle ammo situation, let's say you want that to be a shotgun ammo or sniper ammo, use glass needles to re-roll those. And also, the uh, intellect and discipline can be re-rolled to get tier 12 possibilities and, you know, or strength, that type of thing. So that's what you need to use or purchase glass needles if you want to re-roll these for specific specific traits that you're looking for from uh, from stats. Uh, and then three a coin, if you want to try to get some exotic engrams, I do recommend saving up some exotic engrams if you're looking to power boost some of your leveling ability once Rise of Iron drops. That means repping up uh, the Cryptarch pretty fast, because you get a lot of reputation for, um, or Cryptarch uh, reputation when you uh, turn in the exotic engrams. 
And there's a possibility, uh, we don't know yet what they're going to drop at, what the exotics are going to drop level-wise once uh, Rise of Iron gets released. So there's that to consider. Also, Heavy Ammo Synth, you could use Heavy Ammo Synth to turn into Faction and then get gear that way to also help power level your your uh, your first character for Rise of Iron. And then vehicle upgrades. Nobody cares about those. <laughs> That's it for Zer, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. Hope you guys are having a great weekend. Um, and I'll see you guys next week for another Zer's video. Actually, I don't think I'll be able to do next week. Never mind. I'm sorry because I'm going to Destiny Community Con. And I believe my, uh, my plane is within a few hours of when Zero comes out. So I will see uh I'll see you guys in two weeks because I will not be doing next week's Zer video. You guys are amazing. Uh thanks for thanks for watching and all support. I'll see you guys next time. Deuces.